I got some ideas for coral blocks, and it is to make roofs more interesting. Um, because right now coral is just small plants, which is what they're called, but they're not really plants, everyone should know that. And coral blocks. And, well, that's just really it. Alright, so the first thing we see right here is uh, some kind of gorge running through this um, coral. The idea is that... Um, Corals, coral reefs generate like um, hills, underwater hills, filled with colorful color, and that, that sounded wrong, but <laughs> filled with colorful uh, coral blocks. And through these hills are just rivers generated, and those rivers are just um, the regular sea bottom. So you can really just walk through them, and over those rivers you'll see these big arches of pink coral. I just found it quite pleasant to swim underneath. Uh, another thing I made right here is a big sort of tube made out of a... Uh, well, it could be any type of color really. I just chose yellow. And this yellow tube, uh, it would just be uh, like a cave. It generates like a cave and only the outside blocks of this cave. Then next, you'll see uh, these big corals. They're just like uh, they kind of extend, somewhat like uh, tourist fruit, but they have more branches. And instead of growing like um, one to the side, two up, they grow more like two to the sides and one up. So they spread out much more wide instead of high. And there's these other somewhat mushroom-like yellow corals. Um, they're just one big stem. With varying sizes of uh, plates, these plated corals. Um, another type of coral you'll see are these big blue corals. Those are just uh, supposed to be brain corals, because they're they look like big brains really. They're just round in real life, but mind if there are no rounds, so it's just it's just square. And there's also spawn three different sizes, just uh, three by three, two by two, and one by one. Uh, another structure I made right here is this kind of mushroom looking thing. Not really sure how to describe it. It's just. I put it a bit random, but I can uh, imagine it um, looking very much like um, 
dark oak tree, but um, the canopy is upside down. And it's all made of one coral type. Could be any color once again. Then you have these um, sponges. And sponges are just spawning corals. It's really weird to don't already, these wet sponges. And I make these tubes out of them. It's uh, the idea that you could have one uh, one block wide tube, uh, two by two blocks wide tubes, and these much bigger tubes that are like three by three, but the corners cut out. And you can see they, uh, they have coral, uh, they have bubbles coming from them. Why well, I put solvent in them to uh, make them actually get those bubbles, but obviously there's not supposed to be solvent in them. The idea here is that um, these bubbles just refill your air. They don't pull and they don't push. They just fill you with air, allow you to stay on the bottom of the ocean a bit longer. That's why these tubes should be tall. Ah, uh, they should be tall sometimes, but they should mostly just be two or three blocks tall. And then there are some exceptions, which I made those really, really long um, sponges. But if they are smaller and they don't push or pull, you can just swim through them, get some air back, stay on the water for a little longer. And this thing I really like. It's just a big crab I made. Just made a big crab out of bone blocks. Because there should be a lot of corpses just everywhere. But you generally expect like whales, for example, whale bones. And of course they could be here, but really no. This is giant crab. It's so awesome. I was inspired to um, by Skyrim. It was this big mud crab, and I was just completely amazed by it. It it just feels so fantasy-like. Just like this entire reef, by the way. I made it very fantasy-like. Just giant corals. You won't see them in real life, but um, yeah, it's, it's supposed to make the player feel really small. Uh, another type of coral is these um, also mushroom-like plated corals, but instead they spawn on the walls and they look like this. Yeah, you can see they look just like brown mushrooms. And just one block that um, attaches them to the wall. Well, there's also, of course, an idea that there should be more colors, but I think those are already planned, so that's why I made a lot of more different structures with the same type of color. Because, well, there just weren't a lot of options. If there were a lot of options, you'd see a lot more diverse um, um, yeah, colors, of course, but um, every color would have its own unique shape. And then it has different sizes attached to the shapes. I also made all these, these uh, here, these prismarine blocks, because, well, green coral, it looks amazing, honestly. But for another reason as well, because as you can, uh, you can look at the prismarine and you'll see it slowly changing color. Wouldn't it be amazing if all coral did this? Just imagine these uh, these little rounds slowly changing color, or these uh, the veins that run through this red color changing color. It it just make it feel so alive. Oh, and another structure I made is um, well these are of course hills, and I think there should also be uh, underwater tunnels running through them. So I just made this small tunnel. And you can see there's a lot of blue, a lot of green coral, uh, corals here, or prismarine, but the idea is that there's another type of coral. This color of coral actually gives off a very small amount of light, so you can see underwater. I mean, right now you can see underwater, because it's like you have night vision, but it's not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to stay like this. Is this the idea is that these uh, corals actually light up this cave, so you swim through this dark cave, but it's just light levels. Uh, they're a bit higher than outside if it were to be night, for example. And yeah, you could just find these, uh, these little fall, small caves in these uh, big reefs. Another thing to be amazing to swim through. Other than that, yeah, for this uh, red one I just chose to uh, take a uh, big oak tree. Then I added some extra bench branches and I stripped it of all its uh, of all its leaves. So that's how that looks. 
Uh, these ones I made myself, of course. So they, they, uh, these are a bit more difficult to implement. Like this one, for example, this really giant one. Yeah, there are a lot of new shapes, which, which probably are a bit difficult to implement. And then there are some basic shapes, like, um, yeah, like this pink one, which is just chores fruit, kinda, but it, it goes more into uh, horizontal than vertical. And these, um, these red ones. And I think the yellow ones should also be really easy. But yeah, the, the pink ones are going to be difficult. The purple ones are going to be very new. And all of the other colors, which should also probably get new shapes. It's going to take a long time to uh, implement all of these. So I can imagine them only taking a few of these shapes. But man, would you look at this. It looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? This was my uh, review on Coral, and what I should do with it, and of course how it would look, because this just looks amazing. It took me like two, three days to build. Yeah, let's say three days. And yeah, I can really see the result pay off. But yeah, it, it mostly took me this long, because uh, after the new snapshot update, all dead Coral disappeared, so I had to make it all over again. Otherwise, this video would have been out way earlier. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you.